When Adam August, a 28-year-old tech sales rep from California, frequently saw a homeless man at a local Starbucks, he never imagined how profoundly their lives would connect. Adam often saw Tarek Atkinson, a 37-year-old homeless man, at the Starbucks near San Francisco. For months, Adam promised himself he'd invite Tarek to lunch, but always found an excuse not to. One day, feeling particularly lonely, Adam mustered the courage to approach Tarek and invited him to lunch. During their meal, Adam learned about Tarek's life. Tarek had dreams of becoming a famous soccer player, but lost his chance due to some trouble during his teenage years. He moved to the United States eight years ago and spent the last year living in a tent by the freeway, going days without eating, sometimes surviving on berries and having no friends or family in the States. Hearing that Tarek hadn't bathed in a month, Adam took him to his apartment for a shower. But he knew that a hot meal and a shower were just the beginning. Recognizing the barriers Tarek faced in getting a job, Adam decided to help him further. The following week, Adam and Tarek met again. Adam bought Tarek new clothes, and they spent the next two days visiting various stores to find job opportunities. Adam walked into each business with Tarek, offering moral support. They encountered numerous challenges with most stores requiring online applications, a significant barrier for someone without access to a computer. Adam took Tarek to the local library and helped him fill out job applications online. This experience opened Adam's eyes to how the system often fails those who need the most help. The pair's effort paid off when Tarek landed an interview at a Safeway grocery store. Nervous yet hopeful, Tarek walked into the interview and emerged with a big smile and a thumbs up he got the job. However, the victory was short-lived. Holding a job while living in a tent and unable to shower daily proved impossible and Tarek eventually lost the job. Adam lost touch with Tarek for a few months, but was determined to help him again. He set up a GoFundMe page with a $25,000 goal to help Tarek find stable housing and connect him with local homeless organizations. Despite the setbacks, Adam remained optimistic and committed to helping Tarek. He understood that without a stable home, it was nearly impossible for Tarek to succeed. Adam's efforts were not just about getting Tarek a job, but providing him with the foundation to rebuild his life. Adam's journey with Tarek highlights a crucial lesson. Sometimes it takes more than just a job to overcome homelessness. It takes a community's compassion, understanding, and willingness to offer a helping hand.